Guys, it's finally here. People have been talking about this for months now. It's the Rolado AK917. A one-tenth scale on-road car that claims a speed of 160 kilometers an hour out of the box. Well, not quite out of the box. <laughs> we'll get onto that speed in a minute. So to avoid disappointment, just to let you know, I'm not running this today. There's a reason I'm not running it, and there's a reason that I'm making this video. Look at this nice posh case, look. You only get this case with like the full fat version. So full carbon brushless one is the only one I think that you get this posh carry case. You can buy it separate. Wow, there it is. Unbox. So usually when I do reviews and unbox stuff, I like to give you the full thing. So we'll unbox it or have a look at it. I'll take it out for a run and do various things with it. Whereas with this one, loads of videos I'm in the middle of doing. It's the Easter holiday, so all the kids are off school. I've got nowhere to run it at the moment. So rather than hanging around and keeping it in the box for like a couple of weeks, I thought I'd give you a quick overview of it. Because I don't think there's many of these full carbon ones about yet. I think I might be one of the first people to get hold of one. So this one was sent to me by Rolado, but I've ordered I've ordered the metal brushed one as well. So I don't know when that one will be turning up. If you have already pre-ordered one, I'm sure they're shipping out very soon. So you are, it looks really nice. Right, we'll have a look at that in a minute. 160 kilometers an hour. After upgrading the gears and electronic parts, you could throw any number on there and say once you've upgraded it, but we'll see. Now, I'm hoping the guys in America or Australia that are getting these are gonna give us some proper speeds of it because for me in the UK, it's gonna be a little while before I find somewhere to properly open it up to get the full potential out of it with like upgrading all the gears and stuff. These little wings that go on there, it's an optional part. You can buy them separately. If you pre-ordered and you were one of the first 200, I think, you get these as a gift, I believe. Some stickers, spare parts. I don't know if you get them in a retail one. Some nice foil stickers. They are really nice, actually. Nice quality. Spare gear in there. You definitely get this with it. 40 tooth pinion. There's three spare gears in there going down to a tiny little one there. That will be for your potentially 160 kilometers an hour. Little bit of information there, they've got a speed challenge coming up with $20,000 worth of prizes. So that's gonna be interesting. Optional parts in there, instruction manual, Velcro strap, two Velcro straps, and a charger. Transmitter is one of the newer Dumbo RC ones. You've got steering and throttle trim and jewel rates under there. You've got your dip switches. They're either for ESC settings or lights. Got channel three and channel four up the top there. Oh, I didn't see that, chassis protector as well. And then the car, and it looks really nice. It's got a really nice like metallic finish to the paint. You can get it in red as well. This is like the golf colors. It's got a really nice set of lights incorporated into it, and rear. This carbon version's also got lights in the exhaust there. Integrated fan onto the body. Again, only the full carbon one, I think, has that fan incorporated onto the body. Body clips with these little armor style tethers on them. It looks so nice. It looks so good. I love they've gone scale and put that spare wheel in there like the real stuff. This is clearly designed on the Porsche, the 917, hence the name, 917. Another feature of the carbon one is the brake discs and calipers under there. So it's going to look really good when the wheels are going around because that caliper stays where it is. I believe this one's got uprated tyres on it as well. There's your cables for your lights there and for your fan. Two cell 3300 milliamp hour LiPo as standard. You can run it 3S and on this one you can run it 4S as well. Pretty sure that speed is with a 4S LiPo geared up. Adjustable battery tray so you can bring the batteries out a little bit wider. You've also got space here so you could take them off completely use the Velcro straps and put an even bigger battery in. If you're really serious about speed runs, you're probably best getting this version or they do a roller as well. I've ordered the metal version, so we'll have a look at that whenever that arrives, but this is the full fat one. So a big 120 amp ESC, 3660 motor, 3900 kV, slightly longer can than the metal brushless version. Adjustable camber, adjustable toe, there's a sway bar in there as well. Carbon fiber shock towers, carbon fiber chassis brace, six channel receiver there, metal servo horn, or not sure on the servo specs. I'll have to look and put it on the screen. Nice big foam bumper up front. Suspension feels nice. Although how it comes set up, you're definitely not doing 160 kilometers an hour like that. That is way too high up. That thing will flip probably once you get over, I don't know, 70 mile an hour, I reckon. So a little bit of adjustment is certainly gonna be required. Very well put together by the looks of it. Oh look, all hex hardware on it. It does look. Very nice. Something else on the carbon one, it's got a split drive shaft in there. The metal brushless and brushed one has a one piece drive shaft. This one's split 
in the center there with bearings. I'm not sure how it's geared out of the box. Let's have a look. So it looks like it's a 34 tooth pinion and I think it's a 63 tooth spur gear. It comes with these like plastic like nylon ones, but the one fitted to this is a steel one. It's got three nylon ones listed in the spares and only one steel one, which is a 63 T. So that is what I'm guessing that is. Right, let's have a look at these lights. Wow. I'm guessing they just plug into the spare ports. Switch it on. Yep, that fan's working. We got lights. Sounds like it's gonna take off. <laughs> that. Why does it go faster? All right, calm down. Calm. <laughs> I'm gonna put it, the wheels off the ground. <laughs> Let's unplug the fan for now. So we'll leave that one going. That's the ESC fan. So front lights there, they look really good. Yeah, sir, we don't feel too bad. Where's my rear lights? Oh, there's a oh, there's a light controller in there. Right, I've worked it out. So the front one's going channel five on the receiver, but this has got a different receiver to the other ones. So the lights don't go on like that, but you can have indicators. Ugh, I don't like turn signals. Easy enough to unplug. And then brake lights. Also, something unique to this carbon one. <laughs> you got like flames on the exhaust. That looks so cool. <laughs> oh, <laughs> this track is way too small. It's got some acceleration though. Certainly wants to grip and go. <laughs> Nice. Currently still on pre-sale. This full carbon version is 299. Looking at what you get, looking at the quality of the parts, I'd say that price is really good for something that I think is going to go really fast. And even if it doesn't go really fast out of the box, I think this thing has got the potential to be really, really quick. If you want a cheaper option, they do a metal chassis roller, which on pre-sale is about $160, I think. So I'd say that is a good budget deal if you want. If you want something that's gonna be a bit of a street basher, I'd say the metal roller is the way to go and then put your own electronics in it, or even get the metal brushed one, which I've done. I'm gonna take the electronics out and either use it on something else or sell them, put that money into getting a brushless set up for it. And talking of street bashers, if you want a chance to win my infraction, there's a link in the description with a brand new Hobbywing Max 8 GT to set up brand new hoons it's the limited edition nascar body the link in the description for that so again there's a quick overview of the brand new carbon fiber rolado speed car links in the description with more information on this i'm going to try and find somewhere where i can run this where we can try all the gears out we can try 2s 3s 4s and see how this thing handles those speeds Spin it up,